What do you think is the best piece of advice or tip that you're like is a ha moment for you when learning Apex and made a big difference in your gameplay? Um, something big that people don't really do. Well, like pros do it, right? But like, I feel like a lot of people don't just value their lives enough. And what I mean by that is like they throw their life away to trade one for one. Like trading one for one is bad. Like if you're if it's like an equal fight, like say it's three v three, both sides are up. Trading one for one just strictly one for one is bad right like if you don't do any bonus damage to their teammates it's a it's bad so like if you can say say you 150 spray somebody right him and a teammate are behind the same cover and you swing that guy and you get the knock but you also hit his teammate for 100 but you get knocked that's worth it but if you're just trading life for life it is never worth it I could have taken advantage of the damage and get the knock without dying. This might be like a situation that I talked about yesterday. This is a two minute clip. I'll watch, I'll watch it. sitting on the roof of the other building. All three of them, all three of them. They have a beacon though, they have triple minutes. Dude, this is cringe. That gun is fucked. You're pushing your right, pushing your right. Heard you. On your roof. Ah, uh, dude, I, I'm so fucked. They're gonna drop in you most likely. He's above you. Dropping behind you. See, so like, this guy's loadout, for example, is very good. Nemesis R9. This is the best loadout current patch, by the way. You, should, you, guys, you guys should be using this loadout every game. Inside, inside. There, that was, a good, that was a good swing. The way that you approach this angle is good. Most people, right, they expect you to kind of, like, play tight to this. But you wide swing, which forces this guy to drop or go up. You force him off that angle by wide swinging. Crack the bank. I'm dropping. Right underneath. Okay. So here. I think you fixate too much on the damage. You saw flesh and you just, you know, you literally saw red. While that guy is flesh, you're also low HP. So it's not like you have an overwhelming advantage here. Your Wraith is fucked up. Your Wraith needs to heal. Um, I don't know where your Pathfinder is. Um, but you're not healthy either. You're not healthy enough to go for this. I was saying it yesterday um, about players not valuing their lives. So I'm just going to reiterate that point here. When it comes to team fighting situations, right? It's all about... It's all about the numbers, right? So what I mean by that is that three players here, you all have 200 max HP, so you have a collective health of 600. Assuming that the other team is all purples, you, they also have a collective health of 600. It is never worth to lose 200 on each side, right? So if you die and someone else dies, it is never worth. It's still equal. But if you're able to drop and knock one and then take 50 off of another guy or 100 off of another guy without your teammates being extremely out of position, then it's worth. So like here, you don't have HP advantage, like an overwhelming HP advantage, so it's high risk to drop. And you also don't capitalize on the knock. I can't tell if your sense is too high. It looks a little high. Uh, 1.3800. Okay. Not that high. But it's not high at all, really. Maybe just unlucky there, honestly, on the tracking. But I, instead of dropping, I would wait for your teammates to stabilize, rip a bat. You know that you hit that guy on flesh, right? So in the time that you get a bat off, that guy's not going to get a bat off and get flesh heals off. So you're still going to have the, the numeric advantage, right, when you drop. So just take the extra five seconds to slow down, let you and your Wraith rip a bat, and then drop and fight together with HP advantage. You saw flesh damage, and you saw red. You jumped. You know? And that happens. No, I died through the wall. Fuck. I'm coming to give you knock, right?
dropping you most likely. Yeah. But I mean, the way that you played this the rest of the time was fine. Like, this swing is great, it forces him off this angle. I would have done the same thing. Yeah, all that goes wrong is the drop. That's all it is. Just a bad drop.